Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing the version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the GB Jam 5. The GB Jam is a Game Boy themed jam where developers had to keep the original Game Boy screen resolution, make all of their assets during this jam, and use only four colors in their game. I'm playing all of the games that are in this jam for about a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the games will be in the description so you can check them out further. And all my info will also be in the description so you can check me out. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites on Game Jolt's Fireside, so keep a lookout for that. As a side note, this jam is currently doing a Kickstarter because this is the fifth version of the jam. They want to continue making uh, Game Boy jams and make it even better and do some website upgrading and host it on their own site and stuff. So if you want to check out the Kickstarter, it'll, it's on the Game Boy Jam page linked in the description and you can see if you can help out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, liking, commenting. Next. We're playing Ball Breaks Blocks. basically tells us how to play the game. Ah. And I missed the first ball. This is just a, a very simple breakout game. There is so many blocks on this, this is gonna take ages. That is like Donald Trump's wall. <laughs> of blocks. Alright. Ooh, power up. Oh, it made the ball slow. This is gonna take a while. It's a well made breakout clone though. Alright, next. We're playing the game Burn, which has been silly burning off the screen as I've been uh, doing my sound stuff. So basically, we can set things on fire. Can light squares and fire. You can also fight fire if you don't want fire here. So you can kind of be like, no, I don't want fire spreading over here. But I, I just like burning stuff, so I'm going to put fires everywhere. No, I don't have fires. Just kidding. Everything's on fire. It's a simple game, but it's fun to watch and destroy. If you like being destructive, we get everything. Everything's on fire all at the same time. Here, we'll, there's some fire over here. Some tiny bits. Goodbye, world. <laughs> Neat. Next, we're playing Floaty's Block Ball. Right story. An evil wizard has taken over Bird Island, turning all of its plants into rectangular blocks. One day, Floaty Toucan steals the wizard's magic paddle, which is capable of turning birds into blocks, breaking balls. Floaty decides to set out in a quest to break all the blocks, defeating, defeat the evil wizard, and save the Bird Island. That has like a little story to a block looking game. Oh, the bird's also very cute. Alright. I won't let you die. I probably will let you die. Ah! Power is currently normal, that means there has to be power ups. So far, I'm taking care of the bird very well. I will not let them touch the spikes. So good. Keep shooting it over into that corner, which is not where I want it to go. But you know, it looks like a really well made block breaker game. And I really did enjoy the story. Next, we're playing Legend of the Ball. So we can actually uh, change. 
colored palettes. Oh, I like this one. Feeling them. Feeling quite into pink. Alright. So our ball is like our weapon and our tool. Alright. Now that was not a good throw. Oh, this is quite challenging. So you have to. There we go. It bounced off the wall quite well. You have to sort of aim for where it's going to be. That door is locked. Go this way. What are the bad guys going to be anyway? Oh. Wait, hit both of them. This looks like a football player. Alright, football player. Oh, I thought it was awesome. Hey, do we need this heart? Alright, this is a really cool game. The ball movement makes sense. I wonder if the monsters respawn if I leave the room. I should probably check that. No. Okay. That looks like it spells ZBW. Huh. So this is like a puzzle. I'm no good at those. That's really unique, though. Wow. Ah. Got another one. Come here, football player. Alright. Bam. Ooh, it still hit me. Oh, we got a key. Cool. Next. Alright, we're playing Marble Maniac. I'm playing this with an Xbox 360 controller. Because it told me to. Um, and I do what I'm told, I suppose. Ah, oh, I died. Here, let's go. Forget about that other ball. Ah. We got a coin. This is quite tough. I used to play ah marble rolling games as a child. Actually, oh we've died again, and I sucked at them. I would always ah, challenge my brother though, because I was always better than him, so it felt like it was less of a losing battle. Ah, go 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 go. Okay, we're fine. I will go this way. Okay. Now oh, we can sort of jump. Game over. <laughs> it's however far you get in that time. It's very well made. I like the graphics as well. Press start. I have pressed start. Oh, okay, there we go. Press start definitely means A. Uh, no, I jumped too much. I feel like that thing jumped with me. That's a really cool game, though. Next. We're playing a JMPR. Okay. All right, up and Z. Got it. And then we up. Oh, we should have double jumped a bit earlier there. I like how we can see where we're going to go down. Oh wow. Oh yeah, there's lots of stuff going. Where? What are we though? Or this thing? All right. I'm gonna go this way. I think I quite understand where I am in the map. I'm way down here. Oh yeah, maybe. Oh, this looks. Oh yeah, those are spikes. Okay. Okay. Just stay in the air. That'll help. All right. This is sort of like boop, boop. Nope. Boop, boop. Nope. <laughs> maybe you should just walk around the maze. Well, yeah, but that would be fun, would it? Ah. Check out map again. I feel like we're up in the corner. I kind of want to get to that exploding thing, which looks to be like there. Bam! Awesome. So that that is where we are. Okay. So we need to collect those shapes. This is a pretty cool game. I don't think we can jump over those walls. Next. We're playing Pixland. Okay. 
god. Well, this totally tells me I can use M and spacebar to do stuff to jump too far, so I think that was just a little intro about a back. Silence. Or suddenly, only the silence. Only the dark. That day, the lighthouse went off. And Pixel Land was consumed by shadows. Three days have passed since that day. And we found the lighthouse's light. In six different places. Secret places consumed by darkness. not affected by the darkness. You are the only hope. You must go and bring back the light. But you must hurry up. The flames are weak. You must find all six flames before they turn into ashes. Stick figure guy, I'm not like a stick figure guy, but close enough. Oh, I've been hit something. I'm also fire. Yeah, we got the light. It's like, it's like a simple, well made game with a bit of a story. Spikes are very hard to see. No, oh, the bat killed me. <laughs> Next. We're playing Biotic Limit. Yeah. Okay. You are Phil A. White blood cell. The body is infected. You must take care of it at times. It, you will be overwhelmed. Antibiotics will help, but will make them resistant. Survive seven days. Alright. Cool. So you have to kill all of these things and hope they don't get resistant. You can only have like three shots it looks like on the screen at the same time. Okay. Choose your shots wise. I've been hit way too many times and died. It's only day one. Those are really hard to avoid. What? That one came from behind. Uh, so far I'm not doing very well this game. Okay. Those things. Ah! Wasn't sure if that was gonna die. It's a pretty interesting shooter. Ah! Alright, next. We're playing Mage Boy. Oh no, Master Dominion spellbooks are missing. I need to find them all before he comes home in 15 minutes. Okay, so we can move, we can float, um, and jump, we can cast spells. Choose a spell, awesome. We cast a spell to unlock that door because I feel like there's definitely a thing there. Ooh, I didn't. Okay. I didn't float at the right time. I kind of switched my jump to float a bit late. We should could cast a spell at you. Hmm. I don't seem to be able to cast a spell quite yet. Maybe we need to do a spell book page. Hmm. I want to cast a spell. But pressing C doesn't seem to do anything. Can't quite reach that. Mm, Alright. I feel like I should be able to cast a spell to open up this door. I like the story though. It looks like a pretty cool game. Can 
Need like an extra jump, basically. Float down, hi ghost. Ah, oh, press C to spring into the air with wind jump. There we go. Right, I'm pressing C. Not quite working. Weird. Next. We're playing gun cheap. Alright. We're <laughs> a cute sheep. Hey, little guy, if it isn't my favorite two legged sheep, Sean. I got you something for your birthday, some new kicks. Now you can run around like the other sheep, here in this box. Wait, that's not it. That's my box of questionably acquired firearms. Now I am amazing. Some two legged sheep, eh? Ah. I'm not doing very well so far. Kill the townspeople. I used to how to control my new ammo body. Let that sort of. Because that's how we jump, I think, yeah. Alright. Ah! There we go. side of those. Oh, I started, like, shooting down. Okay. Kind of going the wrong way, but I really like this concept. Next.